Hi there Pisces, welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your money, career, finance, timeless reading for sun, moon, rising, and moon sign. So whatever you have to come across this is meant for you to see. Let's see, what do you need to know about your career or business? So we have Prince of Spring, which would be the same as um, Knight of Wands, and it says passionate, charismatic, confident, restless dolphin. An opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. A moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. Well, you're very charismatic here, a lot of charisma, and whatever you want to battle, it's, it feels, I feel very strong, um, salesmanship here or something you have to sell something you are you a salesperson but it feels like it might be just selling yourself here yeah there's something saying that you have to you're selling something it might be you're selling yourself selling your product selling something spotlighting something i feel okay what can you do to move forward What's going on? These don't want to go back in. Okay, let's take them. Okay, so we have the dreamer, which would be the fool. Shepherd puppy, you are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. Okay, so you're doing, you're going to do something new and it's telling you you can take that leap now. And you have the six of winter, which is the six of swords. So moving. So these are two cards of movement. Rescue Cat, Mixed Breed, and says the challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace a happier times ahead. Wow. So now you can move forward. If you're waiting on something, it's now is the time. It's telling you you can move forward now. This is giving you the, um, the go sign here. The green light. Move ahead. I'm feeling, you know, it's weird that I'm doing this. I'm feeling very hesitant. The energy feels like the words don't want to come out. I, I feel, someone feels really stuck. It's like, uh, you know, like when you stand in a place, like, should I go uh, stopping yourself? Should I go stopping yourself? That's the energy I'm feeling here. But now they're telling you it's time to move forward. So I hope that it must slip now because you're going to feel a difference. You can feel this energy shifting. Okay, how can you be more financially successful? Prince of Summer. So this is Prince of Cups. So that would be the Knight of Cups. Um, romantic, flirtatious, flirtations, introspective, enchanting, the frog. Okay, so a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such a whirlwind encounter, so stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. Knight of Cups. Someone might be coming with an offer of love. Because it can be romantic. Even though we are doing a finance thing. And that might help you be financially more successful. You know, if you're feeling good about your love life, it's going to overflow into other areas too. So you might want to take someone up on this um, offer here when they come in. This, um, the frog might be a prince or a king or a queen or princess or whatever. <laughs> okay, now, where or what do you need to improve? Now, of course, that is um, water sign, so it could be your sign could be a uh, no Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. And I don't know if I said the Prince of Spring will be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? Yes. It's confusing when you have these summer, spring, and everything else trying to <laughs> get them with the regular Rider Waite um, court cards. Where or what do you need to improve? Ace of Arms. That would be the Ace of Pentacles. 
So you need to prove this. See, Calico Cat, you can expect a windfall abundance such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting, or reward advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion, or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. So pay attention. They, they're jumping on the chance something coming up here. So there might be something here that you need to just consider here. This is it. Ace, like the Ace of Pentacles, so a new opportunity coming, money coming in. Very nice. And this might help you improve a lot with whatever's coming in here. And money coming in. That is nice. Okay, what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? And we have the Queen of Swords, which would be the um, Queen of Queen of Summer, I'm sorry, Queen of Summer, I don't know why I said swords, Queen of Summer, which will be the Queen of Cups. Okay, there might be something to do with Queen of Swords too, which would be a, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I don't know, because I don't know why that popped in, it might be just for one person. But we do have a Queen of Summer, Compassion, it Loving, Giving, Psychic, Swan. This is a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others. Now that's what you need to try to overcome. That you might be doing too much for others. And that will be an obstacle because that will stop you from going ahead. If you're, you need time for yourself. You need to care for yourself. And your intuition is going to tell you this because you're very intuitive. Now, this is like an, a, another war sign. This represents you. It could be another Pisces, uh, Cancer, or Scorpio. But I feel this is your energy that you need to just spend some time with yourself. Um, give to yourself because you're always giving to others. Heavy emotions I'm feeling here too. Okay, now. What is coming in the near future for you guys? I want this one. Six of Autumn. Alrighty. That means we have pentacles here. So there's money coming in. Kiwi, your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans, or achieve a grant or scholarship. In return for heaven's blessings, be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money in reputable charity. You'd have to, they saying give back what you receive here to, um, Given some time even. I mean, if you don't feel like you don't have financially can for it, give a little time to others. All right, that's coming in. Something's coming in for you. And you're also going to be able to, you're going to have enough to share is what they're saying. Money's coming in. Ooh, look at this. That wanted to come out. Eight of Summers. And it might be coming in quick. What Eight of Summers is cups. Eight of Cups. Maybe walking away from something, doing something. I'm not going to put this anywhere because it sort of popped out on its own. So I'm just going to read it. And it says, um, you feel that there's more to life than what you're living. So it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you. Or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. So some you're moving away from something to, to something better. Okay. What or whom is helping you? Ten of Autumn. So this is Pentacles. So there's a lot of money coming in here. This is like the... Lots of cash coming in here. Lots of money. There could be an inheritance. But this says Golden Retriever Dog. Contentment comes from knowing that your finances are are secure and your family material needs are taken care of. It's important to honor traditions and have pride in your heritage and the accomplishments of your ancestors. Wow. So it's, it's selling like your heritage is helping you or but if money's coming in, so whatever you're doing, you're getting help financially. It's important to honor traditions and have pride in your heritage. That's helping you. Your tradition and your heritage is helping you. Okay. Your potential outcome. Queen of 
Queen of Spring, which is a Queen of Wands, Persian Cat. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. That is your, you're going to have a lot of things coming in and you're going to be able to handle it all. And at the bottom we have three, a summer to three of cups. So this is a happiness celebration. Hummingbird, you have an exciting reason to celebrate such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. It also could be doing something as far as your business too. So you're some, you're celebrating something here. Now let's start clarifying these guys. Okay, now the Prince of Spring, the Knight of Wands. What do you know about your career and business? And we got the Dolphin. And we have the Three of Swords. So this is... Whatever this this I would say that there's a lot of heartache here. It's something to do with your business. Someone hurt you. Someone deceived you. Someone did something against you. But it changed with this um, Prince of Spring, which is the Knight of Wands, because some new opportunity came out of this. So what, whoever hurt you or whoever this pain, this brought in a new opportunity here that helped you. Okay, what can you do to move forward? Wow, here, this is a six of autumn, which is six of coins. Now this is again, this is gonna help you because you're starting a new beginning, you're moving on to something new and it's gonna bring in money and it's gonna have, you're gonna be able to give money back too. So you can be able to share your wealth and that's gonna help you move forward by giving. When you receive, if you also give some, that's gonna help you move forward. Okay, now the Prince of Summer. How can you be more financially successful? That is the Knight of Cups. And we have faith. Have faith. This is the, like the Hierophant here. Have faith. Trust. This will help you move forward. Have faith in this connection that's coming in. This frog. This um, Knight of Cups that's coming in. This might also, this could be a commitment might be a marriage this might help you you know just having this love in your life is going to help you okay where or what do you need to improve knight of swords okay so now this is um i don't know if i said this is taurus so um this is aquarius libra gemini the knight of swords and we also have the ace so there's something new happened with the money but you also have some, maybe there's something you have help with someone that um comes in quickly and speaks their truth there's a conversation going on here and this could be what uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini doesn't have to be but there is some kind of um communication coming might be about this job or this opportunity here that is might be coming from my air sign okay what a home is an obstacle you need to overcome and the queen of cups queen of summer five of swords so this this is this talks about the deep emotions here so there might be something here that someone might have hurt you in the past might have um and you need to overcome that in your love life in order to probably this person that came in you know, with the, to, un, to understand that to, this relationship here with this Prince of Summer, this Knight of Cups, you might have to let go of this past hurt, this pain, or, or someone that did you wrong. Because of Five of Swords here. Okay, what is coming in the near future? It goes here. We have the Empress. So this is really tapping into your capability because you're able to create anything. So now with the Six of Autumn, that's like this, the Six of Pentacles, um, able to give and receive. And you're able to create whatever you want now. Things are abundant. You're, you might even be having a, a baby. Someone might be getting pregnant. Someone could be birthing a new business, a new opportunity, a new career. But it could be a, a baby. And then let's see, why did we get the Eight of Summers just like that? The Eight, like, eight of Cups walking away. 
Let's see, changing. And it's death, yeah, because there's ending and new begin here. Scorpio energy. So someone could be, something could have ended for something new to begin. And that brought in this, you had to walk away from something. And you might be walking away from something to come back to something too with the death card. Scorpio energy, it, you know, it could be a, with a scorpion. Scorpio, sorry. <laughs> it's coming back around maybe even. I don't feel that so much, but it could be. All right, and and that was an extra card. So someone is moving on to something, and we do have something that was over to something new to begin. So it does definitely feels like someone's leaving something to start something new. And it could be a job, could be a business, could be a relationship. And why do we have the Ten of Autumn and what or whom is helping you? And we have Ace of Wands. Wow. So this is something that's going to start something new, something you'll be passionate about. It could be a new career, new job, new business. But you're going to be very passionate about a lot of um, creativity here. It's going to allow you to just um, do what you want to do the way you want to do it. Okay. And your potential outcome. Seven of Cups. Choices. You're going to have many choices, many decisions to make here. So with, along with this um, Persian cat, which is the Queen of Springs, which is the uh, um, Queen of Wands here. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're going to have choices. A lot of passion here. And you might have a choice of a lot of different, um, very um, exciting, alluring um, opportunities. It might be hard to even choose. And it also could be in love, too. But at the bottom, we have Nine of Cups. You're getting your dreams, your wish fulfillment here. So look at this. The bottom is Three of Summer, which is Three of Cups. So celebrate. And then also Nine of Cups. So your wishes come true. Wow, this is a real nice reading. <clears throat> I really like this for you guys. Pisces, I hope you like this reading. Please um, leave a comment. Let me know if you like the the finance, um, career, and money readings. And I can continue them because they are only the second time I've done them. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. And hope to see you again real soon. Thank you. <clears throat>